After the despicable and horrific attacks in Paris a fortnight ago, the whole House will, I'm sure, agree that our first priority has to be the security of people in this country um, in the future. So when we consider the Prime Minister's case for military action, the issue of whether what he proposes strengthens or undermines our security must be front and centre stage of our minds. There is no doubt that the so-called Islamic State group has imposed a reign of terror on millions in Iraq, in Syria and now in Libya. All that ISIL stands for and does is contrary to everything those of us on these benches have struggled for over many generations. There is no doubt that it poses a threat to our own people. The question must now be whether extending the UK bombing from Iraq to Syria is likely to reduce or increase that threat and whether it will counter or spread the terror campaign ISIL is waging in the Middle East.